Hi there! In today's video, I will be covering a high level overview of what Concur is and how to navigate through it, covering things like logging in, the home page, the request side, the expense side, and approvals. With that said, let's get started with the first thing logging in. Now, logging into Concur is as simple as 1, 2, 3. Begin by logging into your CSCF portal, search for Concur in the apps filter, and then click on the Concur button. From there, you'll be taken to a new window and find yourself logged into Concur with your account. Next up, the Concur homepage. This brings us now to the Concur homepage, where you will see a number of elements on the screen when you first log in. Starting from the top, you will find the Request button where the user will go to create a new request and view previously created requests. For travel, this is where a user can go to see some of their trip information, as well as book through Concur if they choose to do so. For expense, this is where the user can go to create an expense report, while also taking a look at previously created reports. For approvals, if you are an approver, this is where you'll be able to view requests and reports that are currently pending approval from your account. For the App Center, you will find a collection of apps that work well with Concur, such as the Concur mobile app. On this side, you will find the quick navigation bar that lists out the options to quickly create a new request, report, or upload receipts as well as view the required approvals, requests, available expenses, and reports that are in your account. For trip search, this area here is mainly used as a search feature if you want to quickly search for a specific flight or train, for example. However, it is not used as a booking feature. Under My Trips, if you have a trip booked into your account through Concur, you will find the trip information listed here. Depending on your account, you may also see certain alerts that for the most part will be informational or pertaining to your account. For company notes, you will find travel updates, important dates, policy information, and resources to assist you as you navigate through Concur. With my tasks, this area is a more in-depth look at what is shown in the navigation bar on the top, by showing you additional details for your required approvals, available expenses, and open reports. On the top right-hand corner, if you are a delegate, you will be able to delegate into another user's account and work on behalf of them through the acting as other user field. Next up, We'll cover the request side. When the request button is clicked on, you will notice a few elements on the screen here. A create new request button, and three individual requests, each highlighted with an approved status, not submitted status, and return status. Next to view, you will have the option to change your field of view if you want to see specific types of requests, such as not submitted and pending approval. To create a request from the very beginning, you will click on the Create New Request button, and once you do so, you will see multiple fields on your screen. Whether you're creating a trial request or a blanket trial request, you will need to specify the correct policy under Request Policy, and then fill out the required and appropriate fields as shown below, such as the request name, how you book your travel, start date and end dates, and more. Once you've filled out all the required and necessary fields, you'll be able to generate the request by clicking on the Create button. From there, you will see a new screen with your new request generated. You will see information such as the naming convention of the request, the request ID, some links focusing on details of the request, ability to print, and manage attachments. When the request is generated for the first time, you will not have any expected expenses added. For this example, we went ahead and added expected expenses ahead of time for you. However, the process of adding expenses starts with clicking on the Add Expense button and then selecting the appropriate expense from the list. From there, you would designate the appropriate details for the expense and the amount being requested. If you are a delegate working on behalf of somebody else, then this is where you will be the one adding the expenses for the user you are delegating for, as well as marking the request as ready for submission once it has been accurately filled out. No, you will follow this process for domestic, international travel, and blanket trial requests. Up next, we will cover the expense side. Let's go ahead and fast forward through time now and say we went on a trip, incurred some expenses, and now we need to come back and create an expense report to account for that trip. When you click on the expense button, you will find familiar elements such as the view link, create a new report button, and different reports with their submission status. In addition to those fields, you will also find your available expenses, which will host any expenses that you incurred if they are made in a procurement card, for example. At the bottom, the Available Receipts section is shown, 
where you can upload receipts of your transactions via the Upload Receipt Image button shown here. Now, creating a report is similar to creating the request, in which you can first click on the Create a Report button to start that process. You will see similar fields as a request site, however, if you have an approved trial request, then we recommend creating a report from that approved request. This can be done by clicking on the Create from Approved Request link, or by going back to your original approved request and clicking on the Create Expense Report button. This is done to save time and automate some of the steps you need to take, such as linking your trial request to your expense report, and filling out majority of the fields in the header for you. With your report generated, you will follow a similar process to the request side by adding expenses to your report. Whether it is an expense found in your available expenses or manually creating an expense, you will repeat this process for all the expenses you incurred during your trip. Once you have added all your expenses, included your attachments, and confirmed all of your details are correct, you will then be able to move forward and have the report submitted for approval. No. You will follow this process when reconciling expenses in the P-Card and Blanket Travel Expense Reports. Up next, we'll cover the approval side. If you're an approver, you'll be able to see requests and reports that are currently pending your review and approval. Whether it is a request or a report, here are a couple things we recommend doing. It's one thing to click on the checkbox, click on Approve, and be done with it. However, we recommend going to the request or report and spending time to review it. You can do things like checking each expense line item and the amount requested or spent, go to the request header and confirm if all details are inputted correctly, and check the attachments that are included. Doing your part in reviewing the requests and reports will help in ensuring funds are used appropriately and the requests and reports are processed in a timely fashion. If you are a delegate, you will also be able to review the request or report ahead of time for the user you are delegating as to help speed up the process as well. In short, we covered how to log into Concur, the home page, the request side, the expense side, and approvals. We hope this video was helpful for you as you begin your time navigating through Concur. Thank you.